Hello. Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago, Illinois. It's a brand new year. Welcome to 2016. Happy New Year, everyone. This year is going to be a great year. How are you going to be in 2016? Uh, today I've I'm in this video and I'm talking to you about my most recently created webinar. It's again packed full of a lot of good stuff. Now I want to let you know something. It's not all about information. Information is all over the internet. And what I have in here are tools, there are suggestions, there are just um, things that are going to make your process easier. I've had a lot of good feedback on my webinars. They all build upon each other. So this brand new one is going to cover something that has been very much on the tip of people's tongues, in the head, confusing people, um, confusing things out there. This one is called Surrendering into Full Union, it is my January 2016 webinar. In it, I discuss several topics. And along with the topics I do discuss, which are very pertinent, there's a lot of people out on the front. You're going to need to know some of what to do. If you're struggling to focus on the love, you may or may not be getting some, all of the guidance that you need so that you can get to another level. And it's all going to be this year about getting to another level. It is going to be about union. It's going to be about learning how new you are. It's going to be still divesting yourself of things that some of it works, some of it doesn't work anymore for you. It's going to continue to get deeper and yet more subtle. And you'll find that there's several things that may seem paradoxical here, where, you know, what it might seem like from an earth perspective isn't what it seems like. How do you gain your mastery? So the topics that I talk about in here are to help you do that. They are to um, focus on your cosmic sacred heart with your twin because that is where you're getting connected to. When I do this, it is a way of assisting you to reconnect your cosmic sacred heart. That is where everything is going to be from now on. I talk about surrender, what it is, what it isn't. What are the things that make it so? How can you gain a deeper understanding of this, of what it will be for you from inside your union? Not what other people say, not what other people's opinions are. It's going to be about releasing your karmic relationships and ways of relating to people and places for good. That's going to be imperative for 2016, is your own ability to feel, recognize, even if it means getting triggered, and taking actions, and what are your appropriate actions? How would you do that? How would you know it? How do you do by being who you are, who you really are? It's going to increase your awareness. It's all about releasing all kinds of false things from you, anything that you might have thought worked, which can include false twins. Those false twins can be someone that you're having sex with. It can have be someone that, you're, that is just a mental, emotional false twin. It, the false stuff is going to continue showing up, and more and more people are going to balk at it, and yet, unless you're in your mastery, you won't know what actions to take. How do you get it away from you? But really what it is, how do you get away from all of that? Okay? 
it is going to be your abundant flow through the heart and the crown together. Now, this is something of, I guess I would say this is something that is out there. There's a lot of people that talk about the crown chakra. But how do you get your crown to flow in the proper direction? And where is it flowing from? How do you actually get the energies in, from your sacred heart through click to your human body how are you going to hold it anchored here right here where your consciousness is living how are you going to hold your fifth dimensional consciousness while still in a third d body and this is going to be an additional challenge for people your body will still have its um animal magnetism your uh reactions it will still want to survive your human body is designed for survival so you may still have adrenaline rushes fears um, things that really just feel like they belong to the human body more and more you're going to feel your parts and having it flow seamlessly between all of your multi-dimensional multi-faceted sparkling personality and remaining in love and holding your love that's a challenge for people and I'm here to help take away the challenges to help you feel empowered that is one of my many tasks here is to be a teacher a teacher of the new some of the ways of how do you do it and as you are unique, you're not going to do it in a cookie cutter way. These are tools and suggestions for you to find and, and really hone your own skills and mastery at being and staying in love. That's what it is. The focus is love. It always is love and being in love. Being in the love the way you were created, being the love that you are, creating from your love, and staying in love and having fun with your true love. How do you clear for your new life and your new life in union? Because a lot of you will be living with your twin flame. That's for this year. That's for 2016. The actual live in, line up your chakras, live in a relationship and there are people already doing it there are people from last year in 2015 who've been doing it and how best do you do it so I talk about that in there and I give you exercises and tools that are actual actually there to work your inner body your inner body is your best instrument it's all about balance, learning how to balance, learning what you are, who you are, some of from where you came, but where are you going? And I do have special information in here for Blu-ray people, especially the Blu-ray people who are Rod and Staff Unions. There is very specific special information for you. And it's very detailed. It has a lot to do with what's going to happen with your bodies and what do you do about it. This year is going to require a lot of um, patience. It really will. Patience, faith, and trust. It's going to be you elevating yourself and getting yourself connected so high that you feel can touch the sky it's going to be you getting yourself connected in such a way that you're able to feel your cosmic connections the ebb and flow within you the ebb and flow from beneath your feet the ebb and flow here at the 3d earth level and also the ebb and flow from the outer places meaning the outer cosmos you will feel times where it is time to um, isolate go within for a lot of people in the Northern Hemisphere, this winter is um, going to be that time. So, how do you get, you know, through all of this? Because there's several events that are coming up here 
that are cosmic events and how do you find your best footing with it? How do you stay expectant and still do everything that you possibly can? Because I can tell you right now, talk a lot in here about surrender and there's right ways to do it and there's ways that are not really the optimal way that are being promoted out there. And it's not my own personal disagreement. I've lived through this through my own personal experience. It's not my opinion. You can have people that weigh in on what you're doing or you can find ways to empower yourself. I'm one of the people that has tools, not just articles, not just information. I've worked very hard to get this all together and it shows because this is some good stuff. This is good stuff that's actually easy to do and it doesn't matter who you are because it's not just for Blu-rays, it's not just for a certain color. It is for anyone who wants to be new and start getting into your new life and get your abundance going. Abundance does mean more than money. A lot of you are sort of hitting that, that point where you're saying, you know, come on, I still need to make some kind of living here. Yeah, you do. Not only are you um, having to, you're expected to. You are expected to maintain yourself properly. And this is part of what I talk about in each and every one of my webinars. It's proper maintenance. It's um, proper timing of things. It's proper discernment. And yes, that requires that you get good at it because only you can. Nobody's going to come around and clonk you on the head with this. Uh, it's up to you to reach out for it and start using all of the things that you have been gifted with and that you have inherently within you and that it's just waiting to pop out. I see a lot of talk out there about ascension symptoms, but what you may not know about ascension symptoms is these are actually your own energies working to connect with you. And how do you allow it in the way that gives you the least trouble, that gives you the least pain and discomfort? Check it out because I talk about that in my January webinar. It's going to be a great year. Uh, thank you to everyone previously who has bought my webinar. Thank you for your wonderful feedback. It's been great. Thank you also to everyone who has had a session or consultation with me. Your sessions and consultations not only help you on a personal level, but the pertinent things that come through get packed into this and you are indirectly helping other people that do need information and may not have a session. They may not um, want a session. Sometimes people just feel prompted to get the materials. And unlike a session, these webinars are usually very long and I actually condense them. You're getting a very condensed, concise version of what actually is pertinent and necessary for any given time frame. Another thing that I will say about my webinars is not only do they build on each other, you can revisit them. And you should because sometimes it's like watching a movie where things will jump out at you again, things that you may need a reminder of. Um, the January uh, webinar from last year of 2015 was very good for those people who've had karmic situations with your families around these holidays. You may find that there's very good stuff in there. July is very good for those of you going through some of the body stuff. October of last year, if you want to learn uh, some of about the new lives and then follow it up with this January webinar. January uh, of 2016's webinar is available for sale on my website. It's going to also be at the link below in the text right below this YouTube video. And my website is www twinflamesmerge.com. So I hope that you buy my webinar. I hope not only that you enjoy it because I do make them as enjoyable as I possibly can while sticking to the points.
that I wish to make. But I very much hope it helps you and helps you come into deeper union with your twin flame. It's all about being in love. This year is going to be about really being the love, really experiencing it. And for your twin that you may think isn't getting it, it's about them re-experiencing who you two are, who you've always been, who you always have been, and you always will be again. New. Refreshed. Revitalized. And alive again. Don't be afraid to be alive. Get something that will help you. If nothing else, do something to feel alive today. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. There's going to be more to come. We're just hitting the tip of the iceberg of everything that's going to begin happening for people. A lot of last year was preparation. So thanks again. Enjoy. Bye now.